Hello, Beverly Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beverly Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. Girl, it is time to talk about our girls of Potomac because Potomac is coming, it's coming hot, it's happening. That trailer was everything. We are around the corner of the new season of The Real Housewife of Potomac and I am living for it, honestly. And now we need to talk because there are already some tea going on, you know, out there. We talked a little bit about it last week and it's now returning. Of course, everything is related to Miss Candace Dealer and because it's just the way it is at this point, right? And we definitely, definitely need to talk about it. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you want to support my channel, now you can do it through the thank bottom right here. And let's talk about this oh, mess. Hey, oh, me. No. My friend, my son, and my sister. I am so glad that Juan Dixon is not here right now. Can you Erica, I don't have to make you look bad. You can do that on your own. <laughs> better? Is bitch better? I'm shaking. I'm physically shaking. So, like I was telling you guys, Real Housewife of Potomac is on its way. It's promising a lot, okay? But now we need to talk about all of these rumors of Chris Bassett cheating. We did a video last week, you know, um, after the trailer, it's out there uh, that apparently, allegedly, Chris Bassett is has been cheating on Candace with multiple women. Um, but now... The point is that Candace is not happy about it, all right? So, according to a source close to production, they're saying that Candace is fuming over this rumor, and especially the fact that this rumor will be used as a center storyline this season. Is She is going around saying, like, girl, am I ever going to get a break? You know, like, leave me alone for one season because you have been coming at me constantly every single season, over and over and over. And now she believed that this whole Chris cheating on her is just uh, like, um, how you say that? She had Latino moment, guys. Um, not a jab, but it's just... But, Okay, basically, like like the other girls, specifically Giselle Bryan, is trying to use this in, this storyline to attack her directly. Okay, and the point is that we know that Candace Dealer is very reactive, you know, and when it comes to things that she likes or to the people that she loves, she is very she behaves like Lisa Rena. She's basically about to say, we don't talk about the husbands, you know, and she was like about to throw the glass and everything to the floor, you know, and she believed that Giselle Bryan is using this, she, that she created this storyline just to get a reaction for Candace because she knows that if Candace get fire enough, she will create a scene because that's just what Candace is and she cannot help herself you know i don't think that candace will get involved into a physical altercation anymore after the whole monique situation but they can still fire her up enough to like throw something you know throw some wine do like some kind of scene and apparently that's what candace is thinking that giselle is after now there has not been real proof that Chris Bassett has been cheating on Candace, you know? Like, there are no pictures, there are no um, recordings, there are no videos, there, are, there is absolutely nothing out there. But the fact that Ashley Darby and Giselle Bryan are trying to say that, you know, Chris sliding to their DMs, you know, and he was being all creepy about it, and I don't know. Now, we have to look at... I'm trying to like, you know, look it through different lenses this new season. Ashley Darby is a person that constantly has been attacked or was attacked on her marriage or ex-marriage, you know, every single year. 
every single year people were saying that you know uh, michael was sleeping with someone there were pictures the gay rumors the bisexual rumors the open marriage rumors you know and it was something that was constantly happening 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 and let's be honest candace was very happy to be sharing or having an opinion about those things so it is it, it could be very sure that maybe ashley now that she's single and she's finally ready to not give a fuck it's ready to be like, oh, oh, you, you wanted to talk about me? Well, let's see how do you feel uh, now that I'm going to come after you and created this storyline, you know? Uh, apparently, Chris did send a message to Ashley, something about the W Hotel, but they are taking it out of context or they are trying to put it out there out of context, you know, because apparently where when... Chris sent that message to Ashley was because he worked at that place and he probably wa uh, saw Ashley there and wanted to say hi or something. That's the excuse. But it's it could be very easy use as, oh, why is he texting me? Oh, he's sliding into my DMs. Oh, he wants to hit this salad. You know, like all of that. So I don't know. I mean... I can see it. I can see it. And then, well, you know, when it comes to Giselle Bryan, I mean, we can expect everything, okay? After Pastor Holy Whore and after, you know, all the things that Giselle have been doing to stay relevant, it will not be a surprise that now Ashley probably came with this information and Ash and Giselle very easily is going to start going around saying like, oh, well, actually he did this to me and it made me feel so uncomfortable trying to jump into the same train of being like, you know, maybe this is a way to, to take this guy out also. For some reason, they really, really want Candace out and they haven't been able to take her out. So I don't know. I'm not saying that I'm going to be on the let's love Candace train just yet because you know, I'm, I'm going to try to, like, um, understand her a little bit more, you know. But we know who Candace is. And also, we know what she's capable of. So, but I'm just thinking, like, I'm also, if, if she's the one who is being wrong, then we need to acknowledge that as well. But I think it really will depend on how everything is portrayed on the show. But for now, what we hear and what we know is that Candace is not happy, that she's fuming and that she is blaming specifically Giselle Bryan because she thinks that Giselle is making all this thing up just to come back at her and get a reaction from her. So... Let me know what you guys think on the comments below about all of this mess. Do you think, what do you think? Do you think that Chris is actually cheating? Or do you think that Giselle is kind of like working the strings again and, and trying to use this as, you know, a storyline to attack Candace and possibly try to take her down? Let me know. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya! Bye.